I've been thinking about you all. How's Jackson? He's the same. Chaz, again. We'll only end up having the same conversation as yesterday. Well, you know, if, uh, if there's anything you need. Yeah, thanks, Zach. If Aaron needs running to hospital any time... I'm taking him up there later. Oh, Hazel must be in bits. And Aaron? Yeah, he, he doesn't say a lot, but he's not right. He's up most nights with... Well, I don't know if it's nightmares or what. I tried asking him, but it just blanks me. He'll talk when he's ready. Or oh, not. Since about four o'clock this morning. I couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd come and see how he was doing. It was his favourite when he was little. I saw it in the canteen. Some kid must have dropped it. I always preferred Mr Topsy Turvey, but he just liked being tickled. Not today, though. Why don't you go on for a bit, eh? Hazel, should we go and get something to eat? So these two can have a bit of private time. To do what exactly? Just... I don't know. Don't be weird, Paddy's unconscious. What? No, I, ju I just meant that you might want to say stuff. Stuff that you wouldn't want to say in front of us. No, I'm all right, Tar. You can borrow Mr Tickle if you like. I'm sure he'd prefer it if you did it. I don't think so. Now this. This. He loves. Oof. Aaron, it's going to wake him up. Yeah, that's the idea. Have you no respect? Sorry. No, don't apologise to him. What, you think this is helping? It's worth a try. You had any better ideas? Turn it down, at least. Thank you. Got a lift back? Oh, no. Working or watching Jackson Beats for the tube, yeah. Tough choice. I know this can't be easy. Is this leading up to that nightmare conversation again? No, I just thought I heard you calling out. That was your nightmare, not mine. <laughs> this is my mum again. It's Hazel. Hi, Hazel, what's up? Right, all right, all right, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. What? Jackson's opened his eyes. What are they doing? Dunno. Tests, they said. Well, what test? He's either awake or he's not. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. How is he? Um, Jackson's stable, but he's still very groggy and disorientated. But he's awake. He's come back to us. Yeah. But what about, you know, is he all right? Well, he's conscious. Obviously, we have a number of tests to do. Well, I thought you'd done them. We've done some basics, but we have a series of further ones to run. Well, what did they tell you? I'm afraid we're going to have to wait. For what? Is there something you're not telling us? We have to ascertain the severity of his brain injury. What do you mean? I thought you said he was awake. Has he got brain damage? Oh, for God's sake, Jerry! I'm just asking. Can I go and see him? Um, you can see him for a couple of minutes, but don't expect too much. Still early days. Be all right. Hiya, sweetheart. I thought you were never going to wake up. I was just about to give you a good shake. I thought the doctor would tell me off. Try not to speak yet. We've been worried about you. Uh, 
Can I get you something? Some water? Um. He's outside. Been here all the time. Well, most of it. Go and get him, Joey. Your son wants his boyfriend. Go and get him now. It's fine. They can be in the same room together, even if they don't want to be. But for you, my lovely boy, for you they put up with each other. What's that tell you, eh? Leave them to it, shall we? Where is parents? So many people who were hit by a train. Oh, you don't remember, do you? Don't, don't, don't even think about it. Jump to go. Oh. How? How long? Don't, don't talk. Just over a week. I've been going off me, had me. You took your time. What were you doing dreaming about Dermot O'Leary again? <laughs> when I, uh, <clears throat> when I was talking to you, could you hear me? Which means you want to know what's been going on while you've been lying there sleeping it off. And where to start? Oh yeah, your dad. Thanks for that. I think I should go in again. Doctor's with him. So, I won't say anything. Beef burger, fries, vanilla milkshake, as requested. Cheers. Mmm. He's gonna love that. Is it not for you? No, it's for Jackson. He needs some proper food. Is he allowed to have that? I don't know. I didn't ask him, did I? <laughs> what? Nothing. You can just be really thoughtful sometimes. Yeah, shut up, move. Sorry this is taking so long. Have you finished your test? No, not yet. Do you know what's wrong with him? I mean, he must know something. All in good time. We just want a bit of information. Which you'll have as soon as we know more. Are you trying to wind us up? Is there something wrong with him, yes or no? Well, I'm afraid it's not that simple. Well, he seemed fine when I saw him. I mean, I know he couldn't say much, but he understood what I was saying. Well, that's a good sign. Right, so what is it? For God's sake, will you tell us? We'd rather know than guess. I mean, I've got so many things going through my head at the moment and none of them are good. So far. Scans taken when he was admitted show that he's broken two bones in his neck. He's broken his neck? We were unable to assess any damage to the spinal cord until he woke up. Right, well, now he has, so what's happening? The examination I've just done show that he has no control over his arms and legs at this time, but I'm hoping things may improve. What if they don't? There is a chance that Jackson might not walk again.
Michael McIntyre, X Factor winner Joe McEldry and Harry Hill. Paul O'Grady live is at nine. Next, we know he's got a fierce temper, but this time David's about to go way too far. Coronation Street is coming.